There's a hidden legendary vending machine in Borderlands 3 that sells legendary gear. However, its location changes each week. I'm Mental Mars and in this guide I'm going to tell you the secret location of Maurice's Black Market. This week you can find the vending machine on Tanzania ruins on the planet Necrodevale. Once there you want to make your way to the dead claptrap unit near the last house area. It's a bit of a travel to get to the black market, so I'll speed up the footage. You can use a snowdrift artifact and quickly slide past enemies and get there faster. So here is the hidden legendary vending machine and I'll show you its location on the map and the route that we have taken. And with that out of the way, let's look at what's on sale this week. The Embrace the Pain. This COV assault rifle is a reference to Krieg from Borderlands 2. The weapon will start firing pretty slow, but its fire rate will continue to increase as you keep firing this weapon and build up heat. When the Embrace the Pain reaches its maximum fire rate, it will set you on fire. However, during this phase, you won't consume any ammo. The pain is power. This COV assault rifle acts similar to the Embrace the Pain. As the weapon's heat increases, so will your fire rate. And when it overheats, so will you. Again, while you're on fire, the weapon will not consume any ammo. The front loader. This Hyperion shield has a very high shield capacity. However, you will need to sacrifice 60% of your health in order to benefit from it. Which can be useful if you want to utilize the U-Red Anoint because you will be under 50% health and therefore gain the 150 radiation damage bonus. The Jericho. This flood of rocket launcher fires a rocket that rises up into the sky. After a brief moment, the rocket will explode and drop three grenades on the ground. These grenades will explode shortly after impact. While the Jericho looks like a fun firework launcher, the grenades easily miss your target. Therefore, you are better off using the alt firing mode, as it launches four arcing mortar shells towards the red marker on the ground. That way, you have more control and deal direct damage. 